Welcome children. In this video, we are going to study about ammonia. Now, ammonia is a polar covalent compound. It is a pungent smelling alkaline gas. It turns Nessler's reagent brown. Now, we will study the laboratory preparation of ammonia gas. In the laboratory, ammonia gas is prepared by the action of an ammonium salt, which is ammonium chloride plus slate lime. It is slightly warm. And the products obtained are calcium chloride, water and of course ammonia gas. Now for, the, for this purpose you can use any ammonium salt and any alkali. But there are certain restrictions. If you are asked to give the lab equation for laboratory preparation of ammonia, do not use any other alkalis like caustic soda or caustic potash you have to use only slate lime and ammonium chloride these two are the reactants which has to be which have to be used now ammonium nitrate is never used in the preparation of ammonia gas since this is an explosive salt it is explosive salt and it undergoes decomposition next is the drying agent the drying agent here used is quick lime or calcium oxide. Why is this drying agent used? Because it does not chemically react with ammonia gas. Other drying agents like concentrated sulfuric acid will react to give ammonium sulphate. So also you have phosphorus pentoxide reacting with ammonia gas to give ammonium phosphate fused calcium chloride another drying agent forms an addition compound with ammonia so these three drying agents are never used to dry ammonia gas now how is the gas collected ammonia gas is lighter than air it is lighter than air so it is collected by downward displacement of air downward displacement of air it is never collected over water because it is highly soluble in water it is highly soluble in water where one volume of water can dissolve up to 702 volumes of the gas now to demonstrate this high solubility of water we will study about the fountain experiment now in the fountain experiment a round bottom flask is taken which is filled with ammonia gas now there is a cork fitted to this and there are two holes in this cork through one hole you insert a jet a glass jet with which tapers at one end and through the other hole you have a rubber dropper containing water containing water now the other end of the jet is filled in a trough containing red litmus solution now the solution is red in color red litmus solution now to start the experiment what you do you squeeze this rubber stopper now to understand the high solubility of ammonia gas let us focus on this diagram i have drawn it properly for you now there is a round bottom flask containing ammonia gas inside it now through the rubber stopper there are two holes through one hole you insert a delivery tube which has a tapering at one end and through the other one you insert a rubber dropper containing water now to start with you squeeze the water it falls on the inside the round bottom flask and because of high solubility of ammonia gas the gas dissolves in this water which is squeezed out from the rubber dropper and it creates a partial vacuum inside the glass uh, inside the round bottom flask to equate the pressure, this red litmus solution gushes in through that delivery tube 
and comes out as a blue fountain. This experiment proves the high solubility of ammonia gas. It also proves the alkaline nature of ammonia gas because this red solution when it comes out through the other end of the nozzle or this delivery tube, it comes as a blue fountain. I hope it's clear now. Next, ammonia gas can also be prepared by the action of nitrides, metal nitrides on warm water. Now, metal nitrides like calcium nitride and magnesium nitride can be prepared by introducing a burning magnesium strip into a jar of nitrogen. This gives magnesium nitride. Similar is the reaction with calcium. It gives calcium nitride. Aluminium metal also burns in nitrogen to give aluminium nitride. Now these nitrides when made to react with warm water also gives ammonia gas. This is another method of preparation of ammonia gas. But because these metal nitrides are very expensive, this method is never used in the preparation of ammonia gas. Next we come to manufacture of ammonia industrially. Manufacture of ammonia gas industrially and this method is known as Heber's process. You are already aware of this process earlier. Now in this nitrogen and hydrogen gas in the ratio 1 is to 2 is made to react at certain conditions of temperature, pressure, promoter and catalyst to give ammonia gas. Now according to Lee Chatelier's principle, the optimum conditions for temperature and pressure that have been derived at is temperature required is 450 to 500. This produces a better yield pressure conditions which is to be maintained is 200 to 900 atmospheres catalyst used is finely divided iron you can also use ferric oxide you have to use a promoter which is molybdenum in this case you can also use k2o and 3% aluminium oxide instead of molybdenum. Now the reactants nitrogen and hydrogen are obtained by the following process. Nitrogen is obtained by the fractional distillation of liquid air. Fractional distillation of liquid air and hydrogen is obtained by from water by Bosch process and from water gas by Bosch process. We have already studied about Bosch process in class 8. Now the product ammonia can be removed as soon as it is formed. As you know this is a reversible reaction. If you do not remove the ammonia it will again give back the products hydrogen and nitrogen. So you have to remove the ammonia gas form either by liquefaction since it condenses at minus 33 degrees Celsius and at 8 atmospheres it condenses to liquid form and another because of its high solubility in water by dissolving in water. You form ammonium hydroxide and you can remove the ammonia gas which is formed. Here next come to the chemical properties of ammonia gas. Now ammonia gas it ionizes partially in water to form ammonium plus plus OH minus. Now this hydroxyl ion form is responsible for the alkaline nature. So it reacts with acids to form salt and water only. Ammonium hydroxide it is also called ammonia fortis. or liquor ammonia this is weakly as basic and it forms ammonium chloride 
glass water similarly with other acids forms salt and water only these are the neutralization reaction now remember dry ammonia gas dry ammonia gas or liquefied ammonia or liquid ammonia liquefied or liquid ammonia is neutral it will not change the color of litmus from red to blue but when dissolved in water it forms ammonia fortis or liquor ammonia which shows basic properties next ammonia on combustion or burning with oxygen it forms nitrogen gas plus water it burns with a green or yellowish green flame green or yellowish green flame please stick to this color of the flame very very important now this particular reaction when carried out in the presence of a catalyst platinum gives nitric oxide instead of nit nitrogen gas and this reaction is very very important because it's the first step in the formation of nitric acid by ostwald's process which we will study next this is an exothermic reaction and this platinum continues to glow even after the heat is discontinued okay we will be studying about this reaction in detail in nitric acid chapter next ammonia in qualitative analysis now ammonium hydroxide forms precipitates with different metallic salts for example ferrous sulfate is a light green solution with ammonium hydroxide it will give dirty green dirty green precipitate of ferrous hydroxide similarly ferric hydroxide is formed with ammonium hydroxide and ferric chloride which is a reddish brown precipitate now all metallic so all the solutions of salts metals form the hydroxides of the metals which can be used to detect cations the presence of cation now zinc sulfate solution forms a gelatinous white precipitate of zinc sulfide now uh, zinc sulfate gelatinous white precipitate now this gelatinous white precipitate dissolves in excess of ammonium hydroxide to form a complex tetramine zinc sulfate similarly copper sulfate an aqueous solution of copper sulfate with ammonium hydroxide forms a pale blue forms a pale blue precipitate of copper hydroxide which dissolves in excess this pale blue precipitate dissolves in excess of ammonium hydroxide to give an inky blue solution which is tetramine tetramine copper sulfate now all these experiments you will be doing in your laboratory similarly you have lead which form lead salts which forms the white precipitate which is insoluble in excess so this is how you distinguish the cations in their solution form next we come to reducing properties of ammonia ammonia is a strong reducing agent it reduces metallic oxides like copper oxide and lead oxide to give their respective metals for example ammonia gas when passed through heated copper oxide reduces this is black in color reduces it to reddish brown metallic copper plus you get water and nitrogen gas similar is the reaction with pbo it gives lead metal this is a gray metal next we have reaction with chlorine the reaction of chlorine the products form depends upon the uh, whether ammonia is in excess when ammonia gas is in excess the products form 
when ammonia gas is in excess the products form are ammonium chloride and nitrogen but when chlorine is in excess then you have a yellow explosive liquid which is called nitrogen trichloride this is a yellow explosive liquid now you can be asked in the equations also or in observations also okay this reaction is also very important now next we come to tests for ammonia test for ammonia gas now one test you already know when a glass rod dipped in concentrated hydrochloric acid is brought near the mouth of the test tube containing ammonia gas dense white films of ammonium chloride are formed another test is it turns nessler's reagent brown nessler's reagent nessler's reagent brown or when you pass ammonia gas through nessler's reagent a brown precipitate is formed you can also give the test for copper salt or the solution of copper sulfate when few drops of ammonium hydroxide is added to it you get a pale blue precipitate of copper hydroxide which on excess of ammonium hydroxide dissolves to give an inky blue solution then lastly we come to the uses of ammonia gas ammonia is used in the preparation of fertilizers like urea ammonium sulfate calcium ammonium nitrate etc it is also used in the preparation of explosive dyes drugs artificial silk now liquor ammonia it's used as a cleansing agent as it removes grease or oil liquid ammonia at very low temperature is used as a refrigerant in ice plants because of its high volatility and has high latent heat of evaporation now cfcs in refrigerators they cause ozone depletion so these days ammonia gas is replacing the cfcs used in used as refrigerant that's all in ammonia all the best thank you